What's up Facebook fam? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I've been posting, but I actually have a doctor's appointment today and I thought I would take you guys along with me. This video will have a little bit of a TMI. Of course, that's pretty normal with a video that's um, talking about infertility and PCOS. So if that bothers you, you might want to um, probably exit the video. Skipping forward probably isn't gonna help you out at all. But um, yeah, just wanted to let you know that. Anyways, so what my doctor's appointment is about today is I have to get an ultrasound. I actually got an ultrasound last Friday, but it didn't look as though I was to a place of ovulation yet. Um, to even go back a little bit further, I will eventually create a video kind of explaining our full journey, like how long we've actively been trying, how long doctors have been involved in that kind of thing. But for now, um, I don't have a period, so I have to take progesterone to even start a period. Before we started trying, I hadn't had a period for over a year. So before I was on birth control, when um, I started seeing my doctor, she took me off birth control because it was causing all sorts of other hormonal issues. And um, the moment she took me off that, I literally, no periods at all. It just completely stopped happening. So. It, I really didn't think much of it. It was like, yes, I'm not having a period. Best day ever. Uh, but that actually is not a good sign. A period is good. A period is healthy. And a period is pretty necessary to get pregnant. Um, because it actually, you're, well, I'm not going to go into what a period is. If you don't know what a period is, just look it up. A period is important though. Um, so usually the way that it works is after your period, um, you will, ha you will ovulate. So usually between th everyone's different, but usually within, um, usually around cycle day 10, uh, to 12, you should be ovulating again. Everyone's different. So in my case, um, Again, I have to take progesterone to start a period. I have to take Clomid, which tells my body to ovulate. So it gets my body in gear, gets it ready to go um, to ovulate. Well, so last week, my Friday ultrasound showed that things didn't look like I was ready because they want to give me a trigger shot this round. So a trigger shot... Um, basically will force me to ovulate quicker. I don't know all the details. My doctor really didn't give me much details, but it's gonna help the ovulation process. Um, so last week they weren't able to do that. They're, they're, none of my um, follicles were measuring to what they needed to be, and they wanted me to come in this week, so Friday, a week later, because they thought that I might be more ready by then. So yeah, that's what this appointment is about. Um, I've been taking OPKs like crazy. I have not hit peak ovulation. So we will see what they have to say today. Um, I'm praying for good news. I am hoping that I um, ovulate this cycle. It's going to be really disappointing if I don't. Um, this is my fourth round of Clomid, I believe. And... Um, it's just getting really discouraging because in the beginning of all this, my doctor had a lot of hope. She was like, oh, you'll be pregnant in a couple months. And obviously that didn't happen. And each month that passes by is a little bit harder, a little bit more difficult. So yeah, I just want to, I just want to be open with you guys. I want to be raw with you guys because well, it is National Infertility Awareness Week, and the whole thing is breaking the sig stigma, breaking the stigma of not feeling like you can talk about it. Women feeling like they're alone and um, we're broken because we can't have children, and that should be a normal thing that women should be able to do. And it's important that we open up about it and talk about it, and again, break that stigma. So... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get any um, footage of the actual ultrasound, but I'll see what I can do, and I'll also pop in last week's, I got a little clip of last week's video as well that I'll pop in, 
um, to kind of show you what that looks like. I'll somehow sneak a video. Um, my ultrasound, the ultrasound tech, she was a little weird about me videoing. So uh, we'll see what we can get. But yeah, I'll see you guys later and let's hope for some good news. All right, guys. So I'm at Kroger. You might be asking why. So I had a follicle that is the perfect size. So. I am getting my trigger shot today, which I am so excited about, praise God. I will um, show you the picture, it's here, I'll have it pop up. And um, yeah, so I gotta go inside Kroger and get uh, the trigger shot and then take it back and they're gonna give it to me, so yay! Guys, I got my trigger shot. Um, yeah, that $100 better be worth it, so let's get pregnant. All right, guys, um, sorry for this hot mess express, but I just woke up this morning and the first thing I do in the morning is take an ovulation test because I want to ovulate so bad. Um, but I got my trigger shot, as you guys saw in the video, I got my trigger shot yesterday and I just took two ovulation tests. I always do our like cheap test strips first and then I do the expensive ones because ovulation tests are crazy expensive. So anyways, I got the smiley face. The trigger shot worked, you guys. So this is a huge deal because I've been, you know, I start taking my tests every other day after my period and they've literally been like fluctuating up and down up and down up and down well I got the positive like so clear clear as day two the other one is the test line um this won't let me this is it I don't know it won't let me turn the thing around but 